Hi friend, Jessica Rector with the Say Yes Experience podcast. I am so excited you are here because we're going to talk about something that although seems simple and maybe even a little silly, will actually change and transform your life. So let's go. It's called, Who's a rock star? So when my son Blaze, or who I call V-Man, was about five years old, he and I were having a conversation. And in the middle of that conversation, he says, Mama, who's a rock star? And kind of confused, I was like, what? I am? And he says, Mama, who's a rock star? And I said, I am? Because the more he was asking, the more I was believing that I was a rock star. And he goes, who's I? And I said, Jessica. And he said, well, who's Jessica? I was like, Jessica Rector. And he says, Jessica Rector is a rock star. But every time he was saying it to me, he was giving me a high five. He was like, mama, hold up your hand. And he said, who's a rock star? I say, I am. Who's a rock star? I am. Who's I? Jessica. Who's Jessica? Jessica Rector. Jessica Rector is a rock star. And in that moment, I didn't know how much I needed it. I needed that. I wanted to feel acknowledged and appreciated and that I was being seen. Have you ever felt that way? And whenever he did it, I felt acknowledged and appreciated and seen. I felt like all the work that I'd been doing, whether in my business or being a mom, that it was finally, finally being appreciated. And sometimes, oftentimes, it's important to stop and pause, to acknowledge and appreciate, to feel acknowledged and appreciated. And how often do you do that with yourself? Because wanting to feel acknowledged and appreciated is one of the things that you want most as a human. And it's also one of the things we get the least amount of. So think about your work environment, your home environment, in your relationships, as you're leading. When was the last time you felt acknowledged, appreciated? that you were seen, that you were heard. And how can you start acknowledging and appreciating not only others and also yourself? So who's a rock star? You are. Who's a rock star? You are. You are a rock star. So although it sounds super simple and maybe even a little silly, I have been using this in my keynotes for years and thousands and thousands and thousands of people have loved it. Why? Because it's not just making a difference in that moment when we actually do the activity together during the keynote. It's making a difference in that moment that they feel acknowledged and appreciated, but they're also giving that acknowledgement and appreciation to someone else who very well deserves it. And then what happens is they take that and they start creating that ripple effect because they do it in their homes, with their kids, with their spouses, with their partners. They do it in the work environment with their colleagues, with their staff, with their leaders. They do it in their friend groups. So everyone starts feeling acknowledged and appreciated. And what I encourage them to do, and I'm going to encourage you to do as well, is to also do it with strangers. So whether you're walking your dog in the morning or you're standing in a grocery store line, As you walk by someone, you're standing by someone, give them a high five and say, you're a rock star. Because then they'll be like, what? Ah!" It becomes contagious. Everyone wants to do it. Because you're acknowledging and appreciating yourself. And it also feels good to do that as well. So I want you to start acknowledging and appreciating others 
as well as yourself. So here's how it works again. Acknowledging and appreciating others and acknowledging and appreciating yourself because you're a rock star. So who's a rock star? I am. Who's a rock star? I am. Who's I? Jessica. Who's Jessica? Jessica Rector. Jessica Rector is a rock star. And every time you say who's a rock star, who's I, you're given a high five. So partner up with someone that you know, a colleague, your spouse, your child, a stranger, and do it with them. You can also go up to a stranger and just say, you're a rock star. You can also do this to yourself, with yourself, which I want you to do. Because if you're waiting for someone else to acknowledge or appreciate you, you may be waiting an awfully long time. And I want you to start acknowledging and appreciating yourself. Now, I know, I know, it seems kind of silly. Whoa, whoa, Jessica, I need to give myself a high five. Yes, give yourself a high five. Let yourself know that you're being seen, that you're being heard and that you are doing an incredible job. Now, your inclination may be, ah, Jessica, like, it's just my job. Like, that's the role I signed up for. That is my job. It's my job to get that project done, right? But you're going above and beyond to do the project. And sometimes with all that life throws at you, getting the project done is a huge success. Or Exceeding that deadline, getting it in earlier than expected, huge success. Leading the group through a change. Yes, you're a rock star. Or maybe you're like, I've got to make my kids dinner. I've got to do laundry at the house. But And you still want to be acknowledged and appreciated for that. So it's time to acknowledge and appreciate yourself, even for the small things. And especially in those times, in those moments when you don't feel like a rock star, when you feel like you failed or when something didn't work out as you planned or the project didn't happen the way you thought it would or the conversation didn't go like you had wanted, those are the times to really acknowledge and appreciate yourself, to really tell yourself you're a rock star. Because the more you do it, the more you'll buy into it as though it's the truth that you are a rock star and you are a rock star. The more you do it, the more you get used to doing it, the more you believe it. And the more you believe it, the more your confidence grows. And it starts trickling over into other areas of your life. So your confidence starts growing in other capacities. You start branching out and doing things that you never thought would possible because you're a rock star. So start acknowledging and appreciating yourself every single day, multiple times a day, especially when you don't feel like a rock star. When that self-doubt creeps in, when the limiting beliefs come in, when you start saying, I can't do that or no one's going to believe that or no one's going to be on board with that. Start at those moments and in those times because that's when your confidence is going to grow even more when you get through that. When you say, I'm a rock star, I'm a rock star, I'm a rock star, I'm a rock star. Over and over and over until you believe it. You are a rock star, my friend. And now it's time that you believe that as well. So I want you to do it to yourself. Tell yourself you're a rock star. Go up to the stranger. Go up to someone who doesn't expect it and say you're a rock star. And what you'll find that happens is magic. Because if you try and give someone a high five, they give it to you back, right? They don't just stand there. They're like, yeah, and you're meeting in the middle. Both people are giving high fives. And so when you give someone a high five and say you're a rock star, they'll likely give it back to you and say, what? Thank you. You're a rock star too. And what I want you to do when someone tells you that you're a rock star is to own it, is to say, thank you. Yes, I am a rock star. To own that and to believe that and to stand in your power. Because my friend, you are a rock star. 
The more you do it, the more you'll get used to doing it, the more your confidence is going to grow and you start spreading it. It becomes contagious. And that's really the power of who's a rock star is that you're out there changing the world and you may never get a thank you. Even if that world is for one person, you're helping other people and you can't keep doing and going and being without first taking care of yourself. So when you do it, sometimes you often don't recognize how much you need it, how much you need to feel acknowledged and appreciated, heard, understood, seen. And sometimes it's from yourself. Sometimes you need to acknowledge, appreciate yourself, hear yourself, see yourself. And when you do that, you'll continue to go out there and create a ripple effect. So make sure you do it for yourself and you spread it and share it throughout others. So you can put this on a piece of paper. A lot of people keep it nearby, close by. So in those times of self-doubt, those limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that start overtaking your life, that they can pull it out. So you can pull it out. And you can reiterate to yourself that you're a rock star. Because my friend, you deserve to be seen acknowledged and appreciated because you're going out there and making such a huge difference and you are a rock star. So keep showing up as your best amazing self as your rock star self and share it with others so they'll know that they're a rock star too and you'll continue to create that ripple effect. Have an amazing day my friend and keep being a rock star. Bye-bye.